Welcome back, my dark means, to the dark void ruled by me, Nile51. And today we're back to another random reaction, and and we're reacting to, oh yeah, and Happy New Year, everybody, Happy New Year, and also uh, ha and Happy New Year, and also Happy New Year Day. Hopefully, this comes out the same day of New Year's Day. But also, yes, welcome to New Year's, Happy New Year's, Happy New Year's Day, and all that, and also, uh, yes. Also, condol also, this also, I want to say this, and condolences to anyone who from Japan who is watching this. I hope all of you are alright, and I hope everyone is alright over there. If nobody heard about this, it's that an earthquake happened in Japan, and I just wanted to say this. I hope everyone is alright over there, and I hope everyone, there is no, uh, there, uh, hopefully that people, yeah, I, that's, I, I'm really not good with this. I hope everyone's alright, I hope everyone is able to, like, get back to the lives, and hopefully able to, like, restore their sense of, a safety over there but yeah once again uh condolences over there and everything uh yeah i'm not really good with those just don't know how to feel in that situation but yeah just wanted to say i hope you guys are all right over there but right now let's get back to the topic on hand and that is we're going to be watching a video for new year's uh new year's day and we're going to start off with a creepy pasta video <gasps> Ooh. Yeah, that's right. A creepy pasta video. Oh my goodness! It's yeah. It's been a while since we've seen a creepy pasta video, and it has nothing to do with comments that I've been seeing from the other creepy pasta videos at all. Even seriously, it's nothing to do with those. Even though they say that oh, I'm copying people and all that doesn't mean anything. And with that, I have to say is what? Oh right, got it. I'm getting my information over here that the. Volunteer Association and the Experimentation Facilities could use some assistance over there. So don't worry, I'm sure that you guys will be helpful over there. But either way, yes. Either way, I'm going to be watching Creepy Pasta. We're going to start off the new year with the bang of Creepy Pastas. Well, Creepy Pasta video and all that. But yeah, in other words, I am still going to be doing Creepy Pastas regardless of anyone else things. They just won't happen as often because I have other videos I want to react. So be ready for that, guys. So yeah, also there's a news video coming out today, which... Yeah, I'll push the video, which is basically, yeah, it's going to get ready. It's going to be exciting on that one. But right now, let's begin. And it's going to be from Mr. Creeps, Mr. Creeps, Peepa, Mr. Creepy Pasta, Mr. Creep Pasta. I, I'm sorry, I forgot the name. So I'll leave a link to his video down below. And so you can watch it without my glorious voice. And let's start the new year off with uh, my new year's resolution was to survive. All right, let's start it off. Every year, around I really spring, like his content. Go on holiday. I was not looking for winter sun or peace and quiet. Like, I really I like his content. I had to say the this. end of the world. He. This was a particular interest of mine, which began in 1999. I was working in IT and had been caught up in a wave of speculation called Y2K. Oy. As I'm sure you know, due to the way computer programs have been written. There was a widespread fear that when we reached the new millennium, the machines which already ran so much of our lives would interpret the date as being the 1st of January 1900. The heck? Chaos would ensue. Oh. Hand on heart, whether there really was a problem in the first place or not, I'm still not sure. I had my doubts back then, but kept them to myself. I was not going to bite the corporate hand that fed me. And in the end, mm -hmm. Power plants did not explode, and planes okay. did not fall out of the sky. That's good. That's the world good, good. woke up on New Year's Day, as it always had, with hangovers and vows <laughs> to join a gym. Oh, man. I started the year 2000 with a very healthy bank balance. For months, I'd been working all hours on solutions to the glitch and being paid extremely well for it. I was, the though, glitch. feeling pretty disillusioned with computing. I had seen the future as increasingly led by ever more sophisticated technology. But I came to build that January. <laughs> Two years early, huh? Apartment and decided I wanted to walk away from the career ladder. I invested the money I had earned very carefully and lived frugally, taking on consultancy gigs now and then mm. to top up my savings. Very nice. That's pretty good. My one extravagance was my annual jaunt in search of the apocalypse. What? The spark which lit this eccentric fire was reading about 1900. Safely out of the other side of Y2K, I had wondered what life was really like back then. Was, I wondered, 
the world a much hmm. better place without computers? That depends. The research, however, took me in a totally unexpected direction. Yeah, what did it take? Come on, let's see. What's the research? I already knew that 1999 was not the first time otherwise rational people thought civilization was coming to crash down around them. I bet, like after a century, but I mean, you think I about know that. just how Wait. many times throughout history, a thousand years, or cults, or call them what you will, had figured that the world was coming to an end on a certain date. <sighs> that happens We're every day. People. Fire, brimstone, floods, all are coming to get you. As we all know, for obvious reasons, None of the prophecies had ever come true. Mm -hmm. Countless disappointed followers and red-faced leaders. Heh. <laughs> Maybe I'm just a sucker for seeing people fail. But I could not get enough of this saga of good old-fashioned deceit, delusion, and dismay. And I devoured book after book on the subject. I found there had been many varieties of the end of times as there are days in the year. But I was increasingly drawn to incidences where the final call came at midnight as one year turned into another. I guess this was Just because a of the memory scene, huh? of waiting nervously at my workstation as the clock ticked towards 12 <sighs> in the last minutes of 1999. And luckily for me, the end of the world at New Year continued I didn't to be a hot and very current funny? topic. Uh, what's funny is that I never knew that was going to happen. I was too young back then. I stood on mountaintops as acolytes huddled close by. When I mean young, I mean... Anywhere. Like, I, I was an idiot. out to sea and waited alongside wailing grown men and women. I once squatted in a cave in total darkness. The only sign I was not alone was the occasional cough or the sound of someone breaking wind. <laughs> Every single time, the world continued to turn, undestroyed, unjudged, and I returned home, wondering where my next adventure should be. Just another months day, ago, huh? I stepped off a train in the English countryside. The apocalypse was due near here in two days. Oh, this before the 2000. I thought longingly for a moment about my hot tub at home, then pulled up the collar of my far too thin coat and set off walking. I tried to book a taxi in advance, but when I got to the part where I gave the name of my destination, an uncomfortable mm. silence followed. Two of the taxi outfits I tried then simply hung up. Ooh. A third muttered, We don't go there. And then left me listening to the disconnected tone. That doesn't sound good. I was disappointed, but not surprised. The places I visited on my annual trips were usually shunned by everyday folk, or rather, the people who lived there were. Cults were not welcome neighbors. Whoa. The group my research had led me to this time was somewhat of an enigma. I first heard about them on an online forum where it was reported. But they were inviting those who wished to seek refuge from a corrupt world to join them. A little more digging revealed that they were looking ahead to the end of times at the conclusion of the year. This okay. was enough for me to book my flights. First of, of all, never do this. Road, which never do path, this. That soon descended into a line of mud across a field. Never do this. The discomfort I felt would be worth it. It was four o'clock and it was almost dark. The only light came from the torch of my phone, and another occupational hazard for my trips. Mm -hmm. The bars showed. Ooh, I put my head down against bad. the now driving rain and There's a moon on. in the distance. An hour later, I had finally reached my destination. I was soaked to the skin, shattered, hungry, and in a foul mood. If I had been in one of the cottages mm -hmm. that I was approaching, I would have not answered the door to the angry looking, wet, mud splattered man outside. I tapped at the door of one cottage from which dim lights showed through the windows. By that stage, I did not care if whoever lived there was welcoming or hostile, crazy or sane. Ugh. I just wanted to get warm and dry. I tapped harder. Come on, I said under my breath, and was mightily relieved when the door swung open. A woman stood in the doorway, draped in darkness. I blinked, wiped rain from my eyes. I seek refuge, I said. She looked at me. I tried and failed to read her expression. Long moments later, she spoke. Welcome, traveler. Mm -hmm. Then she stepped aside and gestured with a hand that I should come in. Oy, that sounds Aware that I must be dripping water all over a floor, 
Made it out of nowhere. And people. followed her into a room lit by candlelight. The candles must have been scented, and there was a very strong smell of lavender. There was also, I was pleased to see, a small coal fire, and I moved as close to it as I could, Ugh. desperate for some heat. First of all, this is just sounding... A drop of this rain falling creepy, from my hair landed on the glowing coals. Now it's starting to get me. The sound was embarrassingly loud in the otherwise silent room. What? Did you... I glanced oh, you nervously wind? at the woman. You passed the wind? Now we were inside. I could see she was young, barely in her twenties. Oh, don't, don't, this, don't do she that. She wore a long, plain dress and black flat heel boots. Don't believe her. Her mousy brown hair was gathered up in a bun. It is a foul night to be out, she said, and the smile lit up her face. Mm -hmm. There's a pot of stew in the kitchen. I will fetch them through. No matter how pretty she looks, don't bother. Don't I you dare. I stood in my puddle of rainwater and grinned. After I had eaten two portions of the stew, a mix of root vegetables and a fatty meat, she showed me to a small room at the back of the cottage. <sighs> the was made. I wished the woman good night, peeled off my still southern clothes. Once again, never under the covers. do this kind of thing with this person I was doing. asleep the moment my head touched the pillow. I don't know how long I slept. There wasn't a clock in the room, and using the torch, I'd run my mobile's battery low. Sitting up in bed. Actually, you always bring a mobile charger. charger. But could see none. Well, that you're in the middle of nowhere. None of this was unexpected. Many of the groups I'd encountered had rejected the trappings of the modern world, and this appeared to be the case here. I was also not perturbed by the fact that I was sleeping in a complete stranger's home, one whose name I didn't even know. She did not know mine either, or anything else about me, and yet seemed perfectly relaxed to have me there. I'd yet to have met a cult that turned a potential new member away, and as I dressed <laughs> and set off in search of somewhere to clean my teeth, they work. I was looking forward to experiencing the end of the world in the company of this woman and uh. her companions. I was whistling never, merrily as I put never my head out into do the this. corridor. The devil's music. It was not the young woman who had said this, but a man. He wore a dark, pinstripe suit. It was faded and filthy, but not as filthy as his face, which was caked in dirt. I realized I was staring rudely and decided to do what the English do when in doubt in any situation. Apologize. Okay. I'm sorry, I said. The devil's not interested, he replied. He's too busy singing along to the fitted tune you make. Whistling is a no then, I thought. Okay. And went full English. I'm very sorry. Thankfully, at that moment, a young woman appeared. She was standing in the doorway, dressed as she had been the night before. Okay. But now in the daylight, I could see that she wore makeup. A white foundation over her face and below her chin where it met the high neckline of her dress. Standard procedure. It seemed somewhat incongruous with the plain, antiquated nature of our surroundings. I was still say any more than that. when I noticed that her hands were also covered in foundation. Encountering the unexpected was one of the joys of my trips, but these small details troubled me. I Staring bet they again, should. I thought and said, they Actually, they should be for every time you do this. Me. I did not mean to cause any offence. You mean no harm, she replied. My cousin has never travelled outside our little community and is not used to the ways of strangers. But let us not worry about such things. At the end of this day, we shall leave mm -hmm. all such matters behind. So come, please. We must prepare. Okay. Saying this, she reached out and put a hand on mine. Her skin under its unnatural okay. white layer was cold. First of all, if you know anything about the Anagase, it Wished I'd not, when I saw the hurt in her eyes. Hurt I caused with my reaction. I'm sorry. To ult, is that there's going time. to be something happening with people going she to the away, other side. And I'm not saying anything door, more than that. Opened it but and stepped outside. never do what this guy is doing. Bad, I trailed after her. Sissy, why? Why and are you going to do this stuff? cousin followed. I could not see him, but I could smell him. He stank. There were around two dozen cottages gathered close together. 
I had only seen a handful of that before in the darkness. They were built of sturdy looking stone and looked deserted, apart from one. Smoke rose from its chimney and the young woman went up to the door. This must be the leader, knock, I'm assuming. And it must this has to be the leader. Locked, because she went right in. It's a small community. Lavender, I'd noticed the night before, drifted out to the open door as I waited for her. It was unpleasantly heavy, and I was relieved to be out in the fresh air where its effects were passing. So much fireworks. I forgot all about this when the woman returned. Mm -hmm. She was leading an old woman by the hand. Mm -hmm. The old woman was blind. Where this is the leader should have been, or the oracle. There were empty, dark spaces. As she was led closer, I saw that her skin was also covered in a layer of powdered white. Grandmother, the young woman said, we've been joined by a new soul seeking refuge. I tensed, anticipating that the old woman would touch my face, wondering if her fingers would be cold as well. <laughs> ah, come on. She only smiled. Cold fingers, smiled, cold hands, and really? Blackened gums and yellow teeth. Ugh. I forced a smile in reply, then realized I was wasting my time. Pleased to meet you, I said, still acting those British manners, I thought, and watched as the cousin took the grandmother's other arm and the three of them set off walking. For the first time in my travels, I was seriously tempted to bail. You should have. These people were creeping me out. Actually, you should not have done this in the first yeah, place. I gave myself a good talking to. I had not come all this way to go home whimpering with my tail between my oh, legs. I think about this is back then. I hurried after them Where? as the final dusk of the year began. Alts were not taken seriously I back lost. then. I realized I, think, I, don't I slept know. well past noon. Midnight was much closer than I thought. Midnight and the end of the world. <laughs> They had not gone far. I caught up with them in a little clearing just off the muddy path which I'd followed the day before. Mm -hmm. They were simply standing there, looking at peace with their lot. Waiting, I guessed, for the end of times they believed was imminent. I had a thousand and one questions, and I could not help myself. Do you believe the dead will rise? I asked first. She turned to look at me and said quietly, Aye. There is no need. The dead are already here. I studied her face, saw she was sincere, and saw dark patches under the makeup on her Ooh. face, more on her hands. Oh my god. My mind began to race. Oh, I just realized what it. Mean, what she meant the by dead that. Already here. <gasps> what was wrong with her skin? Oh my god. And then I caught the scent rising off her. It was nauseating. The same oh. smell I'd noticed from a cousin earlier. Oh no. Only now. I'm not gonna say I anything. Recognized it. it was the sickly, sweet smell of decay. I There's your hint. I tried to speak. You need to leave. To explain. You need to leave now. Back to a world like which felt now. like it was beginning to spin around me. You Oh, too late. Do not be afraid, she said. Oh. This is our way. Our movement was founded a hundred years ago by a wise man who turned his back on the science which had made his fortune. He renounced the world and came to us with a potion that he laid in the soil. That potion made the dead dance in their graves and fight their way free. Oh my lord. As she spoke, fear rippled through my body. My cousin, their grandmother, stood and listened. I could see now where the skin of their faces had blackened. Under their masks of makeup and dirt. Yeah. The stench coming from them in waves. Oh my gosh. I tried to focus back on her words as she went on. You should not have come here. Now, when we die, we have no need of the bitter grave or the potion. The bite of the chosen ones is all we need. Excuse it me? brings us back and we go on. We tend our homes. We so, say our prayers. So the regular uh, procedure. Into the fold. So the regular procedure then. As she said this, they began to appear. They emerged from the nearby cottages. Some were dressed in rags. Why were fires. you doing these kind of things, Some man? Some were still decaying, and even in the depths of winter, delicate clouds of flies followed their every step. Ooh. Some were little more than bone, and these sightless ones were led by those still with flesh enough. 
Like I said, why did you even do this kind of thing? Teeth clacking, lipless mouths muttering, the remains of vocal cords and rotting tongues straining to be heard. Ugh. I watched, transfixed. They were not like any cult I'd encountered before. I, I, they were I a beg cult to differ. Whose members were all. I could think of no other word. Wait, here it is. Zombies. There we go. There was no need to clamber out of the ground, for these corpses come the apocalypse. They could just cut to the chase, and that is what they were doing. Gathering slowly into a circle, getting ready to ascend when midnight came. Send my boy. And they wanted me to go with them. Heck no! Horror engulfed me as I realized Actually, what have free will? As a rusty blade was placed at my feet by one of the things. Another reached out and touched my throat with the dead flesh of its fingers, Ugh. made a slicing motion, and then smiled, showing me its teeth. Join us. Oh, no. Join us. No, don't do the that. who had given me the blade echo. Don't you do that. Join us. Don't you dare Others do this. Others who began to chant, join us. Stop it. Stop it, please. The young woman came over to me. Uh, she placed her hands on my cheeks. The coldness of her burnt. And I began to cry. First of all, shh. First of all, is she hot? Come with us. Be one of us. She's in her 20s, right? And then she, she kissed hot? me. Excuse me? It was dry. Her breath rancid. Excuse me? I wet. That and took tried a turn. to move away. That took a turn. But she held me tighter and began to press her body against mine. Oh, God. Why my temper flared turn? at this. I pushed her, lashed out, and this took a turn. Her, her rotted flesh gave way, and yeah. my sunk deeper inside her. Bile rose into my mouth, Ugh. and yanked my hand back out. A gaping hole Wait, remained. What? I could see the bones oh. inside her, she, oh gosh. curling in dismay, for their feast had been disturbed. Like I said, I could that, take no more. Yeah, like I said, I that took a turn. And ran. Yeah, I, I bet. Don't At just midnight, just keep running. I'm still stumbling through the dark tank of the countryside. You just keep running. In the distance, I heard fireworks. Some innocent celebration by those who had no idea the terror which dwelt so close. <sighs> by dawn, I was on a train to the airport. I did not sleep during my long journey home. And now, I do not know if they ascended. And I, I do not know if they returned to their homes. Pretend and pray once more <sighs> to welcome unsuspecting newcomers into their fold. First of all, why? I do did not you know if they think of me, if the young woman can still taste me, as Ugh. I can taste her. Ugh. The memory of a kiss lingers. Ugh. I do not think it'll ever go away. Ugh. As for the future, I am going to be in 2022, sitting in my hot tub. A bottle of bourbon in my hand. Exactly. If the world does end, I want to be good and drunk. <laughs> hey. Oh, man. All right. Hey, looks like he learned his lesson. First of all, why did you think doing this in the first place was good? Going to every place, going to every alt, thinking that, oh, yeah, it's going to be fun to do this. But this was during this was during in the nineties, so everybody didn't take ults that seriously. Even though there was uh, some ults that did way over things, but it seems like they were still not being taken serious enough. Amazingly, I, as far as I know, I don't know what happened in the nineties. But anyway, seriously, what person in the right mind? Uh, what person? Oh, Christmas Pasta. That's what his name is. What person in the right mind would willingly do this to go and intentionally go there? What, for the enjoyment of seeing the members freaking get upset or, what you said, upset and seeing the the alt leaders freaking, you know, have blue face and everything, red face and the... First of all, if no matter what it is, an alt is always an alt. Heck, if you've seen my playthrough of Alt of the Lamb and what I do in that game, to do what I... I don't do that much stuff in there, but if I... But trust me, trust me, if I did, I would literally do whatever it takes to win. I mean, Larry, look up bolts and you'll find out why it's dangerous. First of all, no. Second of all, this isn't an this isn't an anime. 
So before anyone think about it, thinks anything other way, that that hot the zombie lady, no, the hot zombie waifu, no, 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 please, this is no, this is real, this is this, no, no, no. Two, and she, he said that he his hand went through her, so basically she was you know undressed. So yeah, she it, yeah, and fourth of all. Does that mean that the the the, 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 the undead is acidic? Is that why? Is that why? It also fit of all. Man, that may have been his first kiss with the undead. But either way, that lady, what? Look, look, no, no, the, the tempting, but no. First of all, if I do, would I have free will at that point? Because if I had free will, I would have left the village and then started everything. Just to let you know that that right now. The, that kind of power. They even said that one bite can bring one back to the back from to life. So if I had free will and I left the place, I would do unless there's like some rule that you can. I would have left it and started everything off. Like I'm not joking. I would have. I, I'm not. I'm not shy to say it. But either way, no, 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 no. Oh, it's a smart idea for running off, but. But in the end, you did it. But in the end, no. You should not have started this at all. In what world did you think this was okay? <sighs> so, everybody be safe over there. Looks like we started off the new year with a bang. With this video. And also... Come on, really? Come on, really? First of all, I've seen so much anime to, to ha that if having a zombie wife who is all right but this is not one of those times no let's just be glad it didn't go it didn't proceed after that because it, because if she felt like that with all that that they would not be good for the for the other for the nether regions but either way yes i i don't know my brain is out right now but either way, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you think, and I will leave the and also I will leave the link down below for you to look up this video. Like, seriously, go subscribe to the, uh, to, uh, to Creeps McPasta. He does, uh, like I said, uh, fantastic content. I, like I said, I have heard him over the years. Sometimes I hear his uh, content sometimes over the years, but nowadays I don't have that much because there's like, other videos to watch. Sorry, Creepy Pasta territory. And also his videos. But yeah, yeah. So yeah, get. <laughs> So yeah, so go up, watch him. Like I said, great uh, content, especially how he carries the video with his voices here. Sorry, my brain is out of But either way, yeah, go watch this video. Comment, subscribe down below if you enjoyed it. Enjoy my dark army. Let me know what you think. What would you have done in this situation if given the opportunity? Now, first of all, I'm going to say this. If this was that, if this was an anime, or an a, a, a anime, that would this would have been a great moment. Great moment to have to, for that time for the you know for the zombie waifu, but it isn't. That would be great. So I would so acceptance and also chosen one because plot armor chosen one lead lead zombie people. But since this isn't, yeah. So remember that this is real life. This is not. This, if this was an anime, would you have done it? If it wasn't, would you have still done it? Let me know. Would you have done it, or would you have run away in another situation? Let me know. Either way, comment, subscribe, down below. Oh, like the video helps me out. And also, I'm your dark ruler, so you have to do what I say, no matter what. All right? No matter what, you have to do what I say. This is taking longer than it needs to be. These out just take a long time. If you left, all right. Thank you for watching. Share the video and also press the black bell to be notified when my videos pop up, or just kind of my channel once in a while to see if I upload or not, because you know how it is. Uh, YouTube channel doesn't like doing this. It doesn't like black bell buttons. Either. But like, like I said, I'm a dark ruler and you must do what I say at the end. And that's about it. So for right now, for right now, my dark means... DISMISSED!